What is going on, all you tiny people? Draco Invictus here with another grounded video. And today, we are going to take something that we learned the other day in one of my tips and tricks base building videos, and we are going to push it to the outer limits. So let's build an elevator into the sky in Grounded. Hit that intro. So I wanted to build this massive elevator on top of the mysterious device, but I couldn't do it. The hitbox is really weird and I didn't want to spend a bunch of time building some scaffold thing over the top. So we're going to be doing it mysterious machine adjacent. Now for the most part, you're just going to watch time lapse video here. I have some great music in the lineup, so enjoy that. I will interject a few times uh, if I see something that was interesting or something like that. I did some of the recording while I was actually building, so just enjoy the show, and after we're done building, we'll actually uh, do some testing. We'll see how long it takes to get up to the top. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like at night, uh, and then I have one other test that I'm kind of holding off till the end. So just enjoy this, so sit back, enjoy the music, and I will see you guys on the other side of our massive, massive elevator. All right, guys. So now we are really getting a look over the fence. And as you can see, there's no yards or anything over the fence. There's just little props that are set up there for things that you would see when you're actually in the yard. But when you're up this high, they didn't actually build anything. <laughs> Cheap, lazy bastards. No, Obsidian, thank you. This is uh, fantastic. I am really digging this. This is uh, so crazy, and I really, I really do enjoy it. And uh, this is a lot of fun. So I figured since uh, everything that we need... Oh, I just put that one backwards. See, that's what I get for talking to you guys. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, not quite. There we go. So we are at 494 centimeters and uh, we are now staring firmly into the second story windows. We are almost to the top of the tree. We are well over the shed. And I, I went ahead and uh, put the light here simply because I think we'll be over 500, obviously by the time we, we do our next platform. So I wanted to, to go ahead and set that light. I figured I'd set them about every 250 or so. So, uh, and uh, we're getting toward morning here. So uh, we've been building all night long and all yesterday. So I want to show you guys something here. When you're placing these traps, uh, you can see here that uh, right now it would work fine. But if I look down a little bit, you'll watch the trap drop a little bit. See right there, it dropped down and then back up. If I place it in the down position, this is what happens. So if you're trying to recreate this video or just create an elevator for wherever you want to build your base, you know, in the oak tree or whatever, if you snap it into that lower position, you're going to get the, the bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So you have to make sure that you pull it up 
so it's in the upper position and then it works just fine. So. I just wanted to point this out to you guys. Uh, you can see here, uh, we are in unknown. <laughs> we're not even in the grasslands anymore because these were the auto saves for the grasslands. Uh, yeah, we are in unknown now, which is just fine by me. here uh, you can see that the hedge no longer looks like a hedge it looks like little green blocks uh, nothing pretty much I mean there's very few things that are still rendering down on the ground you can actually still see the haze sort of we are over the gas sign and uh, yeah, so we are really, I mean, 1,349 centimeters. So uh, let me do a quick calculation here. All right, guys, so I did a quick calculation. Our, at our current height of 1,349 centimeters, we are 44 feet in the air. <laughs> so I thought that you guys would uh, in, enjoy that wee bit of math there as we continue to build. Yeah, 44 feet.
Well, there you have it. Over 3,100 centimeters up is the top of this tower. Over 101 feet that I've built over days in game, working day and night. And this was a fantastic build. Uh, why did I do it? Why not? Uh, this <laughs> this was a, actually a lot of fun, just to see what we could. Could we hit a ceiling? And, and here's the answer for, is there a ceiling in Grounded? As of right now, I don't think that there is. I think that the ceiling in the game is whatever your hardware can handle. So maybe you can get higher than me if you wanted to. Maybe you don't get as high as me if your hardware is not as good. That, so I don't think that there is actually a build ceiling in this game. And I built over 100 feet to prove it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, before you go, I've got a few more things for you. First off, we're going to do a daytime ride all the way up from the bottom. And I have a timestamp on it so that you guys can see how long it takes to go from bottom to top. Right after that, we're going to jump in and we're going to do a nighttime ride at 200%. So I'm speeding it up double the speed just so you guys can see it at night because honestly, it's very pretty. The, the, the stars and the moon and all that stuff, very pretty. And then the last thing that we have is me and my buddy Fane Tour. I loaded this game into multiplayer. It took a couple minutes for it to load into multiplayer, but finally he was able to get in and we wanted to test and see if I jumped off the top of the tower and he ran as fast as he could with aphid slippers in a given direction, who would get further? So that's going to be the third test. So stick around for that. I mean, come on. You stuck around for this ridiculous elevator build, and it has just been a blast doing it. So stick around a little bit longer and see how this thing ends. All right, guys, let's get to it.
So there you have it. He was actually able to run twice the distance away from the base that I was able to fall away. And when I stepped off, I just kept pressing forward. So I kept drifting further and further away from the tower. And he still managed to get twice the distance, even though he was running into clover leaves and, you know, grass and all that stuff. He was able to get more than twice the distance away from me than I was from the tower. So it's pretty impressive. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. If this is your first time watching my channel, I encourage you to subscribe, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. I'm doing all kinds of grounded content, not just crazy hundred foot elevators to the sky. I'm doing tips and tricks videos. I'm doing live stream playthroughs in survival mode. I'm doing builds. I've got all kinds of stuff grounded focused on my channel right now. So I encourage you hit the playlist and check out the, you know, ton of videos that I already have in there more coming soon. And if you are interested in helping out this channel in any way, uh, check down in the description below. I have many ways that you can donate. You can become a patron. You can uh, send me a coffee. There's all kinds of things that you can do. And I appreciate any support that any of you guys want to offer because I, it humbles me greatly to know that someone likes what I'm doing so much that they actually want to send me money every month. So thank you guys for that. And until next time, this is Drake Winvictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya. <laughs>